In this example, we're going to be looking at preparing the closing entries for a business. Remember the closing entries, we only close what we consider the temporary accounts. So those temporary accounts are our revenues, our expenses, and our drawing account. The capital account is a permanent account. That means it does not get closed. However, through the closing process, that capital account is going to be adjusted. So basically what we're doing during the closing entries is we're journalizing the effects that we see on the statement of owner's equity, causing the capital balance to change from the beginning of the year to the end of the year. So we're journalizing those entries. Before we ever get started, one of the best things that you can do is to look at how much you have in total expenses versus how much you have in revenues. That's gonna tell you whether you had a net income or a net loss during the period of time. So when we add up all of our expenses that we have here, in total we have $576,700 in expenses and we only have $525,400 in revenues. That would mean that this, sheet, this month or this year, this company had a net loss. That's important to know before we do our journal entries because it's going to tell us whether our capital account has to be debited or credited. So let's get started. All of our closing entries are dated as of the last day of the year that we're looking at. So in this case, July 31st. In order to close an account, we're gonna do the exact opposite of its balance in our ledger. So notice here they do not tell us if they're debit balances or credit balances. However, we already know that because we know every account has a normal balance, meaning whatever side increases the account, meaning a debit or credit, is the balance it would have in our general ledger. So for example, our drawing account and all of our expense accounts increase with the debits, so they would have debit balances in our general ledger. Our fees earned account and our capital account both increase with credit, so they would have credited accounts in our general ledger. So if you think about that acronym RED, revenues, expenses, and drawing, we're gonna close the accounts in that order. So revenues are our fees earned. Fees earned has a credit of $525,400. So if we want to make the account zero, we are going to debit it for the full value of $525,400. We already know that we have a net loss. So our net loss amount we know is on our income statement. That net loss then is carried down to our statement of owner's equity and a net loss would reduce the value of our owner. So we're going to reduce the value of our owner's capital balance, and in order to reduce their value, we have to debit them. Remember, capital increases with a credit, so it would decrease with the debit. We're not going to do anything with that $900 value, right? We're not closing out this account. We are adjusting the account by the net income or net loss value. So. We know that we had a total of $576,700 in total expenses. If we subtract that away from the total fees earned, that means we would have had a net loss of $51,300. So we need to reduce our capital account by the amount of that net loss. We now need to close our expense accounts. So our expense accounts all have debit balances. So if we want to close them out, we're gonna credit each one of them. You do not have to list your expenses in any particular order when you're doing journal entries. That's only when you're doing your financial statements. Remember from way back in chapter two, we had in some important rules with regarding journal entries. First, at least two accounts had to be involved. In this case, we have more than two accounts involved. Any account that is being debited for whatever reason has to be listed first, which we've done, followed by any accounts that are going to be credited, and your debits and credits must equal. When you're doing your closing entries, 
always double check that your debits and credits equal because if by accident you put in that $900,000 for the capital rather than that net loss value, your debits and credits are not going to equal. So always double check. The most amount of closing entries we'll have are two. So the first closes our revenues and expenses and transfers that net income or net loss to the capital account. The second one closes our drawing account. So drawing, if you think about your statement of owner's equity, if we look at that, we withdraw, um, the draw withdrawals reduce the value of our owner. So it again is gonna reduce the value of our owner's capital and we're reducing it by the amount of the withdrawals. We're not reducing it by that $900,000. Again, we're not closing that account. What we are closing is the drawing account. Our drawing account, just like our expenses, normally has a debit balance, so if we wanna make that account zero, we're going to credit it. Again, what we're done here is we've journalized what we see on our statement of owner's equity as the items that change the value of our owner from the beginning of the period to the end of the period. The net income or net loss and the withdrawals, that's what's happening here.